y'all happy Tuesday, happy Tuesday. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all, let me say my grace and I'll tell y'all what I got. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for blessing me, God, and everyone here today to see this day. Thank you for the food that I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body. In Christ's name, amen. So today, y'all, I got this market side cauliflower soup. This is the first time I'm having it. It's supposed to be a, like a take on a mock potato soup, I guess. And I got me some fruit with some tahini. I got some watermelon, some pineapples, and some strawberries. Bottle water for the drink. So what's going on this fine Tuesday, y'all? Thank the Lord we made it back. Let me taste it first. I'm going to add some cheese to it, I think. I just got, you say, say you microwave it for four, three to four minutes. So I microwave it for, for, hmm. Tastes pretty good. Tastes pretty good, y'all. I got me some cheese. You know, I have cheese on my potato soup, so I got me some cheese to throw on. Now I say it got parmesan in it already, but you know, you know, I think that parmesan is the hip. It tastes like potato soup, I guess. That's my presumption. Y'all know bacon make everything taste good. <laughs> So I got me a little bacon bits on this thingy thing here. And we don't want to go too crazy with it, you know. But anyway, so what's been going on, y'all? What's been going on, y'all? We made it back from Dallas safe and sound. I got a, a little video I'm going to throw up, and it's just some clips of the trip. I, You know, I didn't do much because I couldn't, so I, it really ain't nothing to see. It's just us riding in the car with music and We got a chance to see see buckets, and it ain't gonna do it no justice because I didn't get a chance to walk over it to really show y'all. But it's something worth seeing if you ever. And I have more than in Texas, but if you ever get there, you know it's something worth to go to. And I think I took y'all in the ninety eight cent store the last time I was there. I forgot to film when I was in the inside. This soup is good, y'all. I don't even remember how much I paid for it. I don't think it was about three dollars. Three dollars. Okay. Now one serving is a whole container. This is nice size, right? And the calories in here is four hundred and thirty, which ain't bad for a meal. Hmm. Yeah. So. And it looks like potato soup, y'all, to be honest with you. Look at it. I don't know if y'all can see it because it's so white, you know. Mm, it's good, y'all. Y'all definitely try this in, if y'all have had it already, but definitely try it and let me know. Now, if you're doing keto, I, it has 21 grams of uh, carbs in it and two fibers. So that's 19 so you this might be able to be your only meal for the day. Or you can eat half of it because it's a nice size container of soup. But it's like three o'clock here, and it might not be three. It might be two something. My daughter said it was three o'clock in Atlanta. She just got through calling me, and um, you might not have to eat nothing else for the rest of the day. This is my first meal of the day. I've been in, well, I'll tell y'all, I had my second COVID immunization this today. I've had mine done at Walmart. So I went up there, this is how I ended up with the soup, you know, by the way, because when I passed by going to the pharmacy, I spotted the soup and I said, oh, because I had got me one of the little rolling carts, you know, and I spotted the soup. I said, I wonder how that soup tastes. And it's got chunks of uh, cauliflower in it. Wow, that's really good. So I said I was going to go back and get some, and I did. I went back and got this in a salad, and I said I'm going to eat one of these today. Because the last time I got my COVID, I had a headache. And no sooner, 30 minutes after, I got a headache. But I got them to Tylenol right away this time instead of waiting like I did the last time. So it's kind of dissipated. I had to be on a meeting right away 
right after the call and I was telling my manager, because he had the Madeira and one of my other coworkers had the Pfizer. And he was saying he didn't really have any symptoms on either thing, but I think he said his wife did. So, I, um, but he was telling us about someone that had lost their taste. They actually had COVID and they had actually lost their taste buds. And, uh, been had no taste for three months. But them taking the um, vaccine helped them. They regain their taste. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, did I tell y'all I had water? So we had a nice time in Dallas. And then we stopped in, um, I think it was Texarkana. And my siblings went to... Uh, the Goodwills. My brother went in the Sam's. It was over by the Goodwill. He, they went to two Goodwills in Texarkana. And it was over by the Goodwill because the lady wouldn't let them go to the bathroom and said something's wrong with it. So my sisters were still in the Goodwill and he walked over to Sam's and we went, you know, we had to get gas anyway so we went over there and got gas afterwards. And we were over there, and my sister spotted a dirt sheet. She's always getting deals, my youngest sister. Not my youngest sister, but the youngest sister that was with us. She's, she gets a lot of deals in dirt cheap stuff for a dollar and stuff. Do y'all have a dirt cheap? Well, I've never been in dirt cheap. Do y'all have a dirt cheap where you are? And if so, you do you catch a lot of deals and stuff like that? So... Yeah. Like I said, I took that title now after my meeting was over with. Well, I took it before the meeting. And then after the meeting was over with, I got them through a load of clothes in the machine. And I was fully dressed. I just put on a house dress. And went back to work for a little while. And my daughter called, like I said, from Atlanta and was talking to me. And I was finally, uh, so I said, let me get up and get me something to eat. And take a break from this computer. Because <clears throat> I actually had gotten hungry. And I really was going to wait to eat to take my medication. But when I <clears throat> take that COVID, I just didn't know about it mixing it so either i'm gonna take my medication later tonight or just skip the day all together i don't know i'll buy this again i'm gonna order some i guess when i do a grocery order because this is quite good i imagine you could take this when you doing the um liquid phase of your diet when you get out of the post op. Yeah, I don't even tell y'all about that. I told y'all I was going to cardiologist, right? Because I had an abnormal EKG. Y'all, he didn't do anything. I normally don't ever have high blood pressure. My blood pressure is always normal. I've only had high blood pressure one time and that it had a high reading. And that's when I was in the hospital for diverticulitis. And the nurse told me, she said, your high blood pressure is coming from you not wanting to take this pain medication. Now, your pain will make your blood pressure. And once I took the pain in, because I really was trying to just, she said, no need you sitting up in here suffering in pain. So, Once I took the pain medication, she said you're stressing your body out, and um, uh, it went it went on down. My blood pressure went down, but as much as I go to the doctor, I ain't had no issues. What bothered me about this guy, and this is one of the bad diatric um recommendations they send you to this cardiologist to get clearance for surgery 
This is the first time I've met this man, y'all. Because when the nurse did my blood pressure, she did it down here. And I'm like, that's kind of high. I said, that's high. She said, yeah, there just was something suspicious about it to me now. She said, yeah. Uh -huh, okay. So, first of all, I get to my doctor's appointment on time. They call me up to the desk on time. Take me back to this room when she finally called me. Y'all kid y'all not. I sit in that room for an hour and 15 minutes, which pissed me off, first of all. Because I'm like, you're not being efficient with your doctor's appointments. I don't mind sitting in the, in the room. I get you're going to have to wait a minute. But you're not being efficient with your appointments if you got people just sitting in the room a well over an hour. After I had been sitting there over an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, he comes in the room and introduces himself, right? He begins to tell me your blood pressure. And I say, yeah, I saw that. I said, and I was concerned about that. I said, because I don't have high blood pressure. He says to me, I'm going to put you on medication. You're going to do what? Mm -mm. First of all, I'm going to call you on a prescription to lower your blood pressure. No, you're not. You're not putting me on no medication. I don't have a history of having, uh, as much as I go to the doctor, and I started to say, man, I don't have my blood pressure checked. This is the fifth time in the last month, 30 days. This is the first time I done had a high reading. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Is it your equipment or is it me? So he said, you mean you never had that? Do you have any history in your family? I said, no, I don't. I said, I don't have it. I said, once again, it was a surprise to me that my blood pressure was like 148 or something. It's high today. I said, now, by the way, I had it rechecked, y'all. It was normal when I left there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you tell me. So then he says, well, I think you've had a history of this. The EKG shows it's probably been going on a long time. I said, the EKG tell you all that? In my head now. I asked him. I said, oh, really? Yeah, and I'm going to call you in a prescription and um see and then by you being diabetic is what he says to me i'm like i'm gonna have you on this it's the first time i met this man today y'all i'm gonna have you on this so it could protect your kidneys i said so you just slapping me on some medicine little as he know i go to my doctor regularly and they test for my kidneys uh, function all the time so now you just going to slap me on some medication to protect from my kidneys that I don't even need and you just met me today and ain't keep in mind this man ain't touched me yet. He said, yeah, you been tell me nobody ever told you that. I said, mm-mm. I said, so basically you're going to put me on the medication off this one reading and you just met me? Um, this is how I'm looking. I didn't say that you just met me out loud, part, but I was thinking that to myself. I too clearly told you this wasn't a history, so you don't know if this is an abnormal reading or anything. He, he, he never said, well, let me recheck it, just nothing. So finally, after I was adamant about it, he said, let me take a listen. I said, okay, this is the first time other than introducing me and trying to convince me to be on some meditation. Then you ain't never seen me before. Um, and that's my thing. If he would have said something after, you know, I want you to go to your doctor, your your primary can't have them checked or something in the next day. I basically just was for a surgical consult. So <laughs> he comes over, y'all, and put the test stethoscope on my chest. He said, didn't say breathe or nothing. So I'm just sitting there. He said, okay, just sit there. That one right here. You know, my regular doctor go around, go around. She go around my back and everything. He said, okay, sounds fine. 
Now, what I'm going to need you to do is come back because you're going to have to take a stress test. Don't sit on me. Okay. Is it me, y'all? That just seems so unprofessional to me. I didn't give him a good review at all. Because my thing would be, I would have referred me back to the doctor. If you keep it, continue to have an elevated reading, I would at least recheck it. Go to your doctor. Monitor your blood pressure. You may need to be put on blood pressure medication. I, this is how I would approach somebody I just met. I ain't never even touched. Because it wasn't alarming enough for me to be, because if it was, he'd have sent me to the emergency room. You see what I'm saying? But now you're just going to slap me on some drugs? Uh-uh. No, buddy. Not, not me, you not. And I could see if he said, well, have you been... I'm going to send this, or have you been going to your doctor when I come back for the stress test? And he could have said, well, you know, it's still elevated or something, and we're going to have to see about putting you on some medication. None of that happened, y'all. And so, I was thinking, I wonder how many people they do this to. And y'all, what if I would have been somebody who didn't go to the doctor other than the surgery and didn't know my regular stuff? You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When y'all get this soup, this soup is the bomb, y'all. And I also got, oh, let me tell you, I got some chicken tortilla, too. A container of the chicken tortilla. Because you know I love soup, so. Add y'all some bacon bits. Get you some turkey bacon bits if you don't eat pork. I eat both of them, so. But get, and some cheese to it. I promise y'all, to me, other than the pieces of cauliflower, which I can make out, and if you really wasn't paying no attention, you probably think that potato too. But this tastes a lot like. Now I do know the difference, but I'm telling y'all, if you like potato soup, you'll like this. Like I said, add you some cheese and a little bacon bits. It'll set it off. Um, y'all. That was good. And this container is by market side, y'all. And this fruit was delicious as well. Mmm. I'm going to go back in here and do some presentations. My manager said he wanted to see before. We don't have to present till next month on them. I think. The first week I had one in them. I know the eleventh. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and start on mine and get it done. And he reminded us it's this time of year of performance review. Of course, I'm gonna say I'm great. <laughs> he might correct it, <laughs> but to me, I'm gonna be like I'm wonderful. I did a great job. I did excellent. But he did tell us we all need good. But he needed us to tell us what we good about what we have done. And I got tickled. And I said, well, I wasn't going to say nothing bad about myself. No way. <laughs> I might say I'm going to develop in some areas, but I wasn't going to say nothing negative. <laughs> oh, anyway, y'all, do y'all have to do those 360 like uh, performance reviews? You know, where you work. It's funny. <sighs> anyway, y'all. Thank y'all for joining me. I want you to know you love. I love you. But God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. I love y'all. I think I'm going to end this with a 
sugar free mint here. Wintergreen. Anyway, I'll see y'all later on the weekend for a meal of weekly word and a meal of the chat. Love you. Bye.